Well, it's not the worst news I could have gotten. Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid from 3 Mississippi. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, so, I went to the doctor today because if you guys have been following along for any period of time, you know that I've had some back problems and uh, lately, back and hip pain and issues and uh, it's been off and on getting worse and worse for a few months now and I have some good days and I have some bad days and it's just been kind of like a thing. Uh, the last few weeks, well let's see, since the end of May, um, I finally went to the doctor for it because it was getting just ridiculous um, to the point where I couldn't hardly walk, I couldn't stand up straight, it was like something's going on. And it was a different kind of pain than I was used to because um, I do have a messed up spine, which I know, um, and I've had back pain since second grade. Like I don't, I don't remember not hurting, right? That was normal <laughs> in my world. So um, anyway, uh, they had taken x-rays and they said I had degenerative discs in my lower back and my S1 and a cyst in my hip and arthritis in my hip. Ow. Thank you, sir. Um, and so I did some physical therapy, which basically was them showing me exercises that I already had incorporated into my regular routine because, uh, because this has been an ongoing thing for me. They gave me like two new ones that I wasn't doing that I just kind of added in and so I stopped going to physical therapy need to pay for that stuff dollars to do everything I can do at home. So um, they referred me to an orthopedic specialist to see what my next steps are um, to see if we can maybe get me out of some of this constant pain which would be nice. So anyway so I went they had to do more x-rays because they didn't like the x-rays that the other place took they had me in some weird positions in the first x-rays like they had me almost in like the fetal position which I thought was really weird considering they were trying to get pictures of my my back and my hips like I anyway they had me in some interesting positions and they were like yeah we need better ones and so they had me stand you know straight on and sideways and um, she said which this is the first time I'd ever heard this the nurse practitioner that I saw said, you have scoliosis. So rewind to when I was a kid, I had gone to two different chiropractors in my younger years. One initially when my first like real bad back attack happened when I was a sophomore in high school. It had always hurt, but I had a real bad flare up as a sophomore in high school to the point where like I couldn't breathe in class because it clenched up so bad. Um, and they took me to the chiropractor and they did x-rays there and they said well it's not quite scoliosis because it curves the wrong way and it's like one degree shy of that and they had said that they could kind of correct it with chiropractic and I never had x-rays done again after that I just continued to go to the chiropractor did my normal exercises and just dealt with you know, I had asked my GP, of course, over the years, like, what can I do? Like, it always hurts. It doesn't matter. Like, I do all the exercises. I do all the stuff. I go to the chiropractor. I get massages. Like, what else can I do so I'm not just hurting all the time? And they were basically like, surgery. And I'm like, well, okay, that's not really an answer. So, anyway, I... When she told me that, you, no, no, you have scoliosis, I was like, really? And she's like, oh, yeah, that's... 100%. I was like, okay, good to know. Um, that explains a lot, you know, um, because I always just thought, well, mine's not as bad because it's not actually scoliosis. It's just a little bit of whatever this crooked thing is in my spine. But I guess technically it's scoliosis and it's, um, it's bad according to the look on her face because <laughs> I haven't seen my x-rays in a long time. Like I was in high school when they showed them to me the first time. So I'm going off of a memory from a very long time ago. So, uh, but I always thought of it, like how I remember it is, it almost looked like if you took a straight line and then 
punched it, it almost looks like a fist print curve in my back. Um, and my shoulders tilt because of it, because it's like pulling it, if that makes sense. And my hips do the same thing. Hence causing pain for as long as I can remember. But anyway, so she was very hopeful that she can really alleviate some of my pain with some short-term um, medication therapies and uh, an injection, steroid injection. So we're waiting on the like approval slash referral for the injection, but in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna try to pop over to the pharmacy manana and pick up some uh, some Celebrex. Celebrex that used to be their commercial. Uh, those of you who may know, I was in pharmacy for 20 years, so I had many a swag pen that had Celebrex on it. Uh, but now it's got a generic out and all that. And uh, so it should be covered, no problem. And uh, we'll see. She's only going to put me on that for like two weeks. Um, her goal basically is to just bring down the inflammation of my S1 joint and um, hope that that alleviates some of the tightness and the pain that's radiating um, that's been the newer sensation for me lately um, and she was really good about listening to what I said about how my pain normally is and how it is now and all of that so I'm hopeful that um, you know she's going to be able to get me kind of back on track and I asked her specifically I was like can I go back to running can I you know can I go back to kind of some of these things that I've sort of slowed down on because of that and she's like you can just be mindful of you know a flare-up or you know um, like listen to your body basically so you know I, I'm gonna kind of slowly ease back into running a few times a week now that I have the green light from the doc and um, you know kind of see how I do amidst all of that um, I always found that as contrary as it sounds, I've always found that running for me really helped my back, um, which I know sounds weird because most people say like, oh, running so hard on your knees and your back and your joints. And blah, blah, blah. I think it can be if you do like really long and harsh runs. I tend to do, you know, about a three mile run. It's about, you know, 22 to 24 minute run. Um, and I feel like that's just long enough that you're getting all the benefits of the run, but you're not getting all of the like, I'm not going for like 10 miles every time I go for a run, you know what I mean? Um, because that can, I think that can get into that point where it's like almost unhealthy again when you start doing a lot of really high distance uh, runs, especially if you're not doing it on a, a good treadmill that has the, sh the shock absorption and good shoes and all those things. So. I'm excited that I can kind of get back to that um, because, you know, having to back off on that, it just, I don't like it. I don't like slowing down or stopping on things. Um, and I will say that over the last several weeks, after I did the steroid pack initially, um, after Memorial Day, and I went to the doctor and I did the steroid pack, I started doing collagen in my coffee every morning and taking vitamin D, upping my kale dosage. <laughs> Um, and dark berries, um, I do feel like it's helped. Now, whether that's all in here or if it's actually helping, I mean, I can, I can say that, like, you know, I was able to then stand upright and I'm able to, you know, um, I'm not, it's more of a dull ache in my bones right now versus a, oh my God, I can't move, um, the stabbing of stopping your movement. Um, so that's a huge improvement and I've been much better for weeks. Um, which I'll take. I mean, even if I hope I can get it a little bit better than it is right now, it's still uncomfortable, you know. Um, I'm still rocking between a three and a five on the pain scale in my in my bones in my joints um, in those areas. So I'd like to get it more consistently down to like a two or three. I could live with that. Um, I don't like the Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> you know, I don't, I know, get it back down. Um, so 
So I feel like it was good news. I feel like it was good news at the dock today, and I feel like I have a plan now. Like, I feel like prior to that, it's just been sort of like, I'll throw anything holistic at it that I can in the meantime while I'm waiting for this appointment and see what I can do. Um, you know, and the ice and the hot and the stretching and the things and the, you know, I've done all the things. Wear the back brace. Don't wear the back brace. You know, I've, I've, I've gone through the phases of all the things and seen what's helped me and what hasn't. And, you know, like I said, this isn't my first rodeo. I've been dealing with this for the majority of my life. So, uh, it is what it is. You know, I, I could have a way worse lot in life for sure than that. Um, but am I going to do everything I can to like make it as good as I can? A hundred percent. So if that means <laughs> taking some meds for a little while, short term, um, I'm not the type that likes to take meds. Um, you know, for really anything long term, I try to get off of them as quickly as I can when I need to take something. Um, so, and she did give me some um, kind of a low grade muscle relaxer too, just in case, which, you know, eh, <laughs> um, probably won't take those unless it gets real bad. I try, like, I, you know, I try not to even take Motrin when it's unless it's real bad. Like if I start cresting into a seven or an eight, then I'm like, oh, tomorrow's a busy day. I should probably take a Motrin, oh, you know. Um, so yeah, I try to, I try to, you know, limit it. Cause you know, it's, if I stay active, this is, this is where the cycle gets into, where it's, which is hard. And, and it's one of those things where you have to really stay active to keep things moving. And then when you have a flare up, you have to try to kind of get it under control as fast as you can so you can get moving again because the movement really does help like stretching and exercising and being active um you know if you don't do those things your body just sort of shrivels up so it's been hard these last couple months because i've had to limit some of my physical activities and alter some things because i physically couldn't do them and you know um kind of getting back into like I had to kind of limit some of the weightlifting that I normally do so I'm kind of going to be slowly getting back you know into that um, as my body will allow in the time frame that it will allow but I do want to get back to you know kind of where I was with some of that um, and you know I would at least I would like to be able to run at least three times a week and then maybe walk on the treadmill uh, at an incline for rest of the days um, because I really do feel like that helps a lot um, so yeah that's where I'm at with that so it was good news I think it's good news um, you know I'll be excited to crank my comfort level adjust that a little bit and be a little bit more a little bit more comfortable um, you know I think the biggest thing is you know, like days like this week, I had a lot of editing hours where I was sitting in front of the computer. So I just had to like remember like every so often, I'm like, okay, I need to go downstairs, refill my water, take the dogs out. I need to do a few things, get the stiffness out, and then I can go back and, and work some more. Um, Cause if I sit there too long, I sort of just melt into the chair. <laughs> so I have to kind of, gotta keep rolling, gotta keep moving. Um, I've got some stuff that we want to get done this weekend. I know Mike wants to take Frankie fishing. It's supposed to get up to like 102, 103 degrees on Saturday. Or no, on Sunday. Tomorrow is... Tomorrow... Is it Saturday? I think I said it was going to be like 98 or something like that. Somewhere in there, there was a chance of thunderstorms again, off and on. I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with that. Mike and Frankie are singing a special at church for choir on Sunday and uh, they're in fact they're going to go practice tonight because they're they're actually singing it with um, Morgan Beth and Ryan's um, our friends from out here uh, their daughter so they're going to be practicing tonight later um, so that they will be ready for Sunday because they haven't really practiced it they practiced it a little bit last Sunday um, but they only decided they were going to do this last Sunday it was when the choir director who's not actually the choir director, but she kind of is, um, <laughs> asked them to do it. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I love it when they get to do a little a little something special special. That's always nice. Um, and then uh, we've got a meeting at church on 
tonight as you guys are seeing this for for uh, something having to do with the youth group. I was a little fuzzy on the details, but meh. Um, and then uh, I've got some filming I got to do for for next week and get some things ready. So I'm excited about uh, the next few days. I'm glad that the first half of the week I kind of was able to crank all that stuff out and get some things done and. Um, glad that I've got the news I got from the doctor very thankful that um, she didn't tell me anything worse that was one of the things I was nervous about was you know the, the people in radiology that were reading it at my little podunk towns clinic I'm like is it worse than what they're saying like and sh so it it wasn't any worse than what I already knew which is good and she thinks she can make me more comfortable um, for big stretches of time she's like we can we can do these things and you'll have like a stretch of time where you're going to be feeling better and then it'll start to maybe backslide again but then we can do it again and I'm like okay so I like having a plan you know whereas before it was just sort of like you know anytime I would bring it up to a doctor it was sort of like yeah suck it up you're fine <laughs> there's nothing we can do you know you're too young to have back problems is what I would always hear and I was like but but am I because you know I was, I was born this way, to quote Lady Gaga. <laughs> you know, like, this is just how it was. I was put together by a committee, and it was crooked. So, um, you know, that's just the way it is. So, anyway, that's where I'm at. So, I do have some stuff i got to try to get done tonight and uh, get a little bit of filming done this evening. I was debating about driving back into town to get my prescription, but... I'll wait till tomorrow because I don't feel like making an extra trip into town because I went all the way to Tupelo. So I don't feel like driving anymore today. That was my point. <laughs> I don't want to sit in the car anymore. Um, so anyway, that's that. So anyway, I, I appreciate y'all for hanging with me. I really do. And um, oh, for those of you that have been asking, um, this will probably be my last little update that I'll give you. But I did talk to Roxanne and uh, yes, she did take her to the vet. The vet basically said the same thing my vet said, um, and she said that she's about 95% back to normal, that she's basically just still real tired. Um, she was still kind of tucking her tail, like a little nervous about stuff, but she's calmed down quite a bit, so that was good news. It makes my heart happy to hear that she is almost completely normal. It's really great. I appreciate you guys, and as always, stay blessed, and remember, safety's all.